It is really quite simple selecting a location on a machine for measurement. The vibration transmits from the rotating shaft through the bearings to the bearing housing. We want to mount the sensor on solid metal of the bearing housing. Use these arrows pointing to the locations to measure where we should mount the sensor on the machine. You can see the flow path from the vibration will transmit from the shaft to the sensor on the bearing housing. If the motor is small, we would collect data from just motor bearing number two. If the motor is large, greater than 30 inches between the bearings, we'd collect data from both motor bearings. These machines are motor close coupled. That means that there's only bearings on the motor. The pumper fan is mounted directly on the motor shaft. So that means we don't collect data from the pumper fan housing or the middle of the motor. Remember that vibration transmits through the bearings. If we were to collect data from the pump or the fan housing, then all we would get is a lot of flow noise. Vibration from the impeller or fan will transmit to the motor bearing. Vibration from the end of the motor bearing will transmit to bearing number two. So if the machine is small, we could diagnose this machine from the data measured from one motor bearing location. On coupled motors, we now have two shafts. We need to collect data from at least one location on the motor and one on the pump. We can diagnose the motor pump and coupling from these two locations. So if the motor pump is small, we'd collect data from one motor bearing and from one pump bearing as we see in this diagram. If the motor pump was large, we would collect data from all four bearings. This slide shows where to mount the sensor on the bearings to measure the motor and the pump. The machine on the left, one or two locations on the motor, and both of the pump locations can be measured with the one location. Notice the arrow in the picture. The machine on the right is also small, one location on the motor and one location on the pump is all we need. There are three types of compressors centrifugal, screw, and reciprocating piston. On the two piston compressors, we would mount the sensor on both ends of the compressor shaft. On the screw compressor down at the bottom right, we'd mount the sensor on each bearing location, again, on each end of the shaft. Blowers are either centrifugal type or lobe type. The Hoffman blower, we would measure from the bearings on both ends of the compressor or blower. And the lobe type blower, we would measure from the bearings on both ends of the blower. Now let's talk about fans. The picture on the left shows a belt driven fan. We would measure bearing number two on the motor, bearing number three and four on the fan. The picture on the right shows a coupled fan. It's large, so we'd measure bearings from all four locations, from the two motor bearings and the two fan bearings. Lastly, let's talk about gears. We need to collect data from at least one bearing on each shaft. So in this case, we would take a reading from location three for this shaft location four for this shaft, and location five for this shaft. 